game of your life. There's nothing better than having like uh, your significant other and like your family and your friends there that all like fully support you. It's exactly. gonna make you play at a whole nother level. I but now let's hop into this match. Um, we are on board with Barboza, uh, aka Celend, once again. And Looks we, like he's gonna be playing outside by himself, and we're gonna actually switch it up. So we are on board right now with. That is going to be Juju. So Juju's going to get downed inside on the H. 3v3 situation. Uh, Souls is going to be Arcane. Arcane. So Arcane's going to be moving up with these incendiary grenades. Can he make a play with these incendiary grenades? We're going to see in just a minute. Yep, right now, Weapon X is down. 2v3, they have one insane left. Uh, right now, we're going to see Nick Marks pick up, pick up this Torque Bow. We're going to see what we can do, taking a few shots down low. Trying to see if he can catch these guys coming out. We're going to go to the overhead map right now. We're going to see one guy on H and one guy at front door. And we got a guy on the flank from TSM. Yep, yep, yep. So on board with number five, okay. Mr. Poseidon himself. He's got the torque bow. Can he get a stick, though? Not going to be able to do so just yet. Moving over to Trey. We haven't been able to see too much of him for this match. But if there's any time to check him out, it's right now. When he's in a 2v3 situation. Oh, that Torque Bow is a damage. dangerous situation. Lots of damage that he's taking from the Slash Damage with that Torque Bow. Are they going to be able to connect with the next one, though? Oh, but there comes the push. Full red. And he's going to get crossed from the pistol for Poseidon. Amazing job right there by Poseidon and Octanes working together to be able to get that down. Perfect execution of using a Torpo right there for splash damage to make Trey nervous and to use Octanes properly to just bait and switch over and over again exactly. until he makes a mistake. And we got to say that was perfect time and Nick putting that bow on the wall. Yep. Stick up on the side. No matter what, he was going to receive some damage right there. Yep. And that was good. But yep. You know what? Without we're, a doubt. We're going to start this uh, next round off with Trey. Okay. Because like, we haven't talked too much about Trey. We don't yeah, exactly. know who much Trey is. So we're going to see what Trey's role is coming into this next round. Yep. Let's get on board with him, see what he is capable of. He's going to be running a three outside strategy with his teammates, getting a smoke grenade, throwing that really quick towards the front door. He's going to get beat inside to the front door. Doesn't mean necessarily he's not going to be able to make a play. Another smoke coming in from his teammate. There it goes. And now he's going to push. Oh, he's going to go all the way to the sandbag. He's going to try to get this good kill. L trigger. Nice L trigger, though. Nice good damage that he's putting in right there. Got Numbers are in favor of his team. Map controls in favor of his team. Here comes the Lancer fire. Good job by Trey right there. Way to reset. Be aware of the fact that the player is coming back. He took a look at Boom, saw that his team had control, looks back at his steps, and he waited just long enough so his opponent thought that he had a chance. Exactly. He made a veteran move right there. He got that guy full right on stairs, but at the same time, he did not chase him. Nope. He did not chase him. He did nope. not chase for that kill. He backed up, reset, looked for Boom, see if his teammate needed help, uh -huh. and the guy ended up eventually coming to him, and he downed him. Yep, and then he just took it. Nice, easy textbook play right there, taking it real slow, staying calm, cool, and collected, and that's exactly what you got to do. Great focus by Octanes. And who is that? Poseidon right next to him, I believe. Exactly. Let's see what's going on. He's moving up. Big fight's going on under the front door. That's Poseidon there. Octanes has to be there to help him if he possibly can. Shots coming in from Octanes, trying to get this kill. He's moving up. Should be able to get that down. One more shot. There we go. He's going to pick that up. 3v2. No 2v2 situation between these players. Octanes is alive. Don't know which one of his teammates is alive. Maybe it is Nick Merckx. I can't tell. I'll be able to tell in just a second. Yes, it is Nick Merckx. So number seven is Nick Merckx. So we got Nick Merckx and Octanes going up, and we're going to see who they're up and against Smoke just in a second. They might have been playing on these here we go. Here right we go. Now. Here we go. It's numbers. It's uh. It's Trey and Arcane. So Nick and Octanes versus Trey and Arcane. Let's see if they can pull this out. They're able to get incense, so they're going to be able to use some map control with that and definitely be able to pick up an easy kill if they can pick up a down. All right, right now we're looking at a classic stalemate right here. Uh -huh. 2v2. We got uh, all of TSM right here on the front H, and we got the rest of the team outside. And we're going to see one of them go out here and grab Digger, and it's going to be Arcane grabbing yep. Digger. Octane does have incense, so it's almost of, a, of an even advantage. This round is going to come by who makes the best transition. Yep. And, that, and, and when you look at it on paper, you might assume it's going to be Octanes and Nick Merckx. But then again, this is an age when a lot of players have been stepping their game up and doing much better. Oh! Right in your face! Spread doesn't matter right there when you get hit by a Kobe right in your forehead. Exactly. So Octane's making that big play right there and using that power weapon to his full advantage. And him and Nick Merckx are going to take the round. Exactly. Arcane came in and was like, uh, boom, here go Digger. Uh, here go another Digger. And yep. Uh, and then Octane, Octane said, said, look at this. In your face. In your face. <laughs> <laughs> really nice job by Octanes right there. Definitely you know, a very well placed grenade. Octanes deserves the uh, the kickoff right here for the next round. Yep. On board with Octanes. Yep. Let's see what he could do. He's rocking his Marcus. Always been a fan of Marcus and all the Gears games that he plays. So he's going to be moving up, getting ready to push front H, going over, getting H control, kind of hanging out for a second, looking for a 1v1 if he can get it. He's trying to bait that 1v1. Yeah, he actually wants it. He wants this 1v1 right now. It's almost like he knows we're watching. Let's see what he could do here. He's going to rotate back out with his teammates. Ooh, perfect flank. Oh, and he gets the meat shield. That was really good. If he could have done it a little bit earlier, that would have been fantastic. 
Cross is coming in from both teams. Nick Merckx is going to outlancer one of the players down. Poseidon in a lot of trouble. Really weak inside. And I don't know if they're going to be able to play this one out. I think this is going to definitely go in the favor of Weapon X here. Great job situation. holding his right hand. Getting a few shots, taking it slow, and he's going to get the last yep. guy down. In favor right now of uh, Weapon X. Weapon, Weapon X is able to take that round down. Um, that was Drix, actually, that we saw play that situation so well on that couch, on yep. the right side couch. So he played that very nicely. Four consecutive shots, all great shots, and then capitalizes, closed you know, out Octane's the round. made a good move. He said, you know what, I spent a lot of time here. You know, it's, it's some commotion going in the boom. Let me back out, help my teammate. And he was able to tie it up 3-3, but couldn't pull it through. If he could have just gotten that kill right before his teammate died, that would have been even better. But hey, you know, you take, you take, you take your, your, uh, your losses, move on. And looking at Nick Merckx right now, he's in a 3v3 situation. He's full red. He's going to smoke out that front door. Maybe he's going to go for incense right now. No, his teammate that is full health is going to go for incense. Nick struggling to stay alive right here. Taking he is holding on by the skin of his back. teeth, and he's going to get back outside. And sends out in Poseidon's hand. Yep, a 2v3 situation once again, and Poseidon already wasted one of the incense. He needs to save the other one for later. A uh, really tough spot if you are Nick and Poseidon here. They've got the 2v3. They're going to rotate. Uh, that's going to be Arcane who picks up the digger. So Arcane has the digger right now, and then he's going to use that to make the best play you know physically possible. See what he I does. Wanna, I want to see. Oh, you know, it, it, I was about to say, I want to see Poseidon snipe. Okay, but it's Nick Mokes right here. What? Nick Merck's right here with the torque bow. Yep. And on board with him. And they, you know, they just waiting for him to make plays, waiting for him to push in. Mm -hmm. I actually haven't been able in, uh, in my whole time watching Nick play. I haven't been able to see him use power weapons too <laughs> often. Very often I'm able to see him use, like, uh, utility weapons, the weapons that he spawns with. I'm really excited to see what he does with this torque bow right here. Going to rev this bow up. We got two guys coming in from uh, the spawn door. On the left-hand side, they're waiting out there. And, you know what and can I just note those smoke screens? Exactly. And you know what? Poseidon's right here in his cut. He's going to make the only play that he can on this guy in the front. Going to see if he can get this into him. He's going to come off. To fight the 1v1. Going to take a shot in his back, but then he's going to run away. Nick's going to get him down. Oh. He got to hit by a digger. All up to Poseidon right now in a, two in a 1v2 situation. Taking shots from and the back. Oh, yep. He's going to go get across from front door. Nick's going to end up dying there. We've got a little no-no going on. And yeah. we've got ourselves quite a close game for map number two. Exactly. You know, Nick Nick, Nick is actually a, a, a pretty phenomenal power weapon player. You know, one thing, especially, you know, with the teammates he's had over the years, the team with Shane and Predator, he's always yeah, taking that's the back true. seat. That's he's true. He's always taking the back seat to the power weapons, though. But in the teams that he's been playing with recently, hey, he can actually up. shine a little bit and finally, and, finally, and finally bring him out. So uh, we are on board with Arcane. This is ma uh, round point, map point for Weapon X. If they can get this round, they will seal this in regards to a one-to-one -one map count. So let's see if they can close this out against Team TSM. Looking over, we are on board with Drix. Drix gangs the big crosses coming in. Nades coming in. A kill is going to be picked up. They're going to capitalize on our game. Looking really good for TSM right here. They've got the ice broken. They're able to pick up their first kill. They pick up another kill, and they're really working the map very well right now. Definitely think they're going to be able to pick up this third kill as well, and they close out the round three to three. Only one team's going to pick uh, take map two, and who's going to be? You know, a great job by Octane. As soon as he picked the nades, I was cycling and cycling, trying to find them. Yep. But he did what I what he needed to do. He picked up two nade kills right there. Right off Pissed the bat. Pissed the last guy down. And he came up huge for his team, though. But check this out. This is map number two, 3-3, three, three, final round. And we're going to go for it with Octanes because he's just shining right now. He is doing great this entire time with his nice little blue scuff controller, and he's feeling it. Represented Marcus very, very well. Oh, NCN kills coming Whoop. in by Arcane. Oh, oh getting the second NCN kill right there. TSM is down, but Octanes is clutching. What's oh. up? Coming in with a second kill. 2 oh. 2 Getting the third guy. They're in a 1v2 situation. And uh, wow, TSM is coming in. Octane is playing huge yep, right now. Octane just made the play of all plays. 1v2 situation, mid-round. Really sticky spot if you're him when the pressure's on like that. But pressure doesn't get to Octane. He's just oh, chilling. Oh, man. You know what? Octane is one of the most cool, calm, collected people I've ever met. But we're going to go on and go up forward with Arcane because you know what? Arcane te team needs him really, really well, really, really bad right now. And he's going to put some shots on his guy, but he's taking Really bad five. spot, though. He's definitely going to get angled out any second with those Lancers and those pistols coming in. I don't know if he's going to be able to stay up. Whoa. Oh! Can't cover. Oh. oh! Coming in, man. You know what? Shout out to Octane's right there because both rounds back-to-back. -back. He came up huge.